Think of a laptop that can be described as a purebred gaming model, the Lenovo Legion series is probably one of the first that comes to mind since it has successfully shaped that image over the years. Of course, there are many other gaming models out there, but the Legion series was able to win our hearts over and over, primarily due to its gaming hardware that is fine-tuned for optimal performance and ultimate gaming enjoyment. So if you're considering alternatives to a classic gaming desktop PC in an era when PC components so hard to come by, the latest Legion 5 Pro laptop should be a worthy alternative. The release of every new Legion model attracts a lot of attention from users, mostly gamers but also those who need a powerful mobile computer. The main reason for this popularity are the powerful hardware and a recognizable high-tech design. It doesn't stand out with any flashy or aggressive details or shape, yet in a way it still does have all of the above. Its design is a perfect balance made to please both gamers and creative users. The new Legion 5 Pro's design has evolved even further. It uses a bicolor chassis, which is why it looks really, really nice with an interesting shape on the back, which is especially pronounced due to the large diffusers and exhausts. The profile gets lower towards the front of the device, which gives the design a dose of aggression and makes it look undoubtedly like a gaming computer. Now, the top of the chassis, which houses the screen, is made of storm gray shade of anodized aluminum, while the base, also made of aluminum, is painted black. The dimensions of 35.6 cm in width, 26.5 cm in depth, and 2.7 cm in height indicate Lenovo was not trying to go for an ultra thin gaming laptop, though it still does feel a lot thinner than most of the gaming models. The weight of almost 2.5 kg is not due to its dimensions, but more because of a high quality cooling system and efficient coolers that allow its powerful hardware to maintain its high performance. Compared to the regular Legion 5 model, you got to wonder what does the Pro suffix mean? Well, it certainly deserves it due to an above average hardware platform and an unusual 16 inch screen with 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which is the second time we are seeing a Lenovo laptop with this kind of a screen. And while we're at it, this is an anti-reflective IPS panel with 500 nits of brightness and HDR400 support, all while displaying a resolution of 2560 times 1600 pixels. With the increased vertical field of view, both due to high resolution and the format of the screen, the visible surface feels like you're using a 17-inch model. I think Lenovo is trying to tell us that it's about time we move past the Full HD resolutions and have some proper fun on laptops. And this is definitely true, especially especially with newer titles that really benefit from higher resolution. Another important detail that will definitely be appreciated by gamers is the fact that the screen refreshes at 165Hz. A pro-oriented crowd will want to know that it is able to display 100% of the sRGB color gamut and arrives calibrated with x rite certification. The bezels of the screen are minimal so you get the impression that the image extends almost from edge to edge. The top bezel is slightly thicker due to the presence of the 720p webcam, while the bottom bezel was kept as thin as technically possible. The microphones are located on the bottom while the switch that controls the webcam lens shutter has been moved to the right side of the device base. Now the keyboard is something that Lenovo traditionally pays a lot of attention to. An improved version of the TrueStrike keyboard arrives with 6 lines and a numpad. It is illuminated in full RGB with 4 zones that you can independently control. What makes this keyboard special is the fact that it looks like a low profile one. The caps do have a minimal profile but have an unexpectedly deep stroke. The keys have linear resistance so they offer a precise sense of activation during gaming. With a slightly higher activation force, this keypad provides a good gaming feel compared to similar solutions. The touchpad surface is large and comfortable with no physical buttons, but with the bottom left and right corners that act like left and right click. The surface is coated with a special mylar material, which is the main reason why fingers slide with precision and minimal resistance. 
Lenovo's attention to detail was also on spot when it comes to the position and choice of connectors. Both left and right side are dominated by air vents for expelling warm air. On the left, there's also USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port for data transfer or connection to an external monitor via DisplayPort 1.4. Next to it is a combined 3.5mm headphone and microphone jack. Now on the other side, there is another first-gen USB-A 3.2 available. But wait, there's also more. The main console with connection is located on the back between the two exhaust openings. There, you will find a power connector, AC USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, which also be able to charge other devices even when laptop is turned off. Next to it is a full-size HDMI 2.1 for connection to external monitors. There's a pair of USB-A 3.2 connectors with a transfer rate of 5 gigabits per second and a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port that can also power external SSDs so you don't have those unpleasant interruptions when copying large files and installations which was simply missing on the recently tested Aorus 15G model. And finally, we have a LAN port which is essential on a gaming laptop. And when it comes to hardware platform, the new Lenovo Legion 5 Pro packs the most powerful combo to date with an AMD Ryzen 7 5800H Cezanne, an 8-core CPU that can execute 16 threads simultaneously and has a frequency range from 3.2 to 4.4 GHz. The processor very often stays above 4 GHz thanks to the excellent Coolfront 3 cooling system. An efficient cooler is also needed because of a powerful graphics processor, which in this case is a GeForce RTX 3070 with 8 GB of GDDR6 memory and an operating frequencies between 1500 and 1620 MHz. It is connected to the CPU via direct bus with an 8 PCIe lanes. The other part of the graphics subsystem is the integrated Vega 8 core, which can be turned off if necessary. When battery life is essential, we would advise using the combined mode of graphics adapters, and if you're just gaming, then you could turn off the integrated graphics. The Legion 5 Pro is also equipped with 32GB of DDR4 RAM, which is the maximum amount of system memory for this model, and it's running in dual channel mode at 3200MHz. For data storage, you get the M.2 NVMe SSD with a capacity of 1TB. In our case, it was the Western Digital SN720 model with an average data transfer of 3GB per second. Interestingly, the Legion 5 Pro offers an additional M.2 slot for an SSD, but keep in mind that it can only fit a shorter M.2 2242 SSD with a maximum capacity of 512GB. It is a useful option for additional space due to the increased size of games, but also for all those who process big files, especially videos, on such a strong laptop. The connection to the network and the internet is made via Gigabit Realtek controller, though I honestly feel that the laptop of this caliber deserves at least 2.5 Gigabit LAN. The wireless connection is the 6th generation Wi-Fi based on the Intel AX200 solution that comes with Bluetooth 5.1 support. Be sure to connect it to an appropriate router with 802.11ax specifications to enjoy the benefits of above average wireless connectivity. The sound comes from two rows of slots on the sides on beveled edges of the base of the device and is enhanced by Namek audio software. It is loud and clear, but the speakers are still just laptop speakers, so for real gaming enjoyment, it is always better to go for a good set of headphones. Looking at the power of the built-in hardware and the cooling system, it is clear that Legion 5 Pro consumes a lot of energy. 
It is powered by a large 300 watt power adapter. Lithium polymer battery has 80 watt hour capacity and supports rapid charge function, which according to our measurements charges in just 45 minutes. We measured 3 hours and 50 minutes of battery life at maximum power saving options and 80% screen brightness. Even on battery, the Legion 5 Pro delivers great in-app performance and it was able to deliver 60% of the power it is able to achieve when connected to a charger. However, for serious gaming, the use of a charger should be mandatory. Lenovo Legion 5 Pro is an extraordinarily fast computer. A strong Ryzen Cezanne and RTX 3070 processor proved to be a winning combination, but not only for gaming, but also for working and demanding applications. We can compare it to a similarly configured RS15G and see that the differences between the mobile versions of the GeForce RTX 3060 and RTX 3070 graphics ranges between 10 up to 20%. We also wanted to know how Vega 8 performs as one of the strongest AMD APU solutions compared to the recently introduced Intel Iris XE integrated solutions. And here are the results. Legion 5 Pro has also proven to be a pretty good computer for designers and creatives as it easily handles demanding applications. It has a tangible advantage over the similar RS 15G device, recommending itself in the best light to users who do 3D modeling and CAD CAM software, as well as for photo, video and audio production. The high level of performance has its side effects, which is reflected in high operating temperatures and high energy consumptions. Now, how does the new Legion 5 Pro stand in this regard? The Ryzen 5800H frequently operates in the frequency zones over 4 GHz, more precisely 4200 MHz, up to a maximum of rated 4.4 GHz. In such cases, especially during gaming when you pair a powerful processor with an RTX 3070 graphics, the temperature goes from 80 degrees up to a maximum of 94 degrees. And at the same time, we measured 75 to 80 degrees for the graphics processor. Now, it all depends on the game, whether it's a GPU limited and to what extent the CPU is utilized. It is also evident that the GPU rarely goes to frequencies close to 2 GHz, as is the case with the RTX 3060. It is also evident that GPU rarely goes to frequencies close to 2 GHz, as is the case with the RTX 3060. Namely, with 96% GPU engagement, it can get up to 1800 MHz, but when it's fully loaded, it moves within the rated turbo frequency limits with a maximum of 1600 MHz. The CPU behaves similarly. With a full load on all cores, the frequency ranges from 3800 to 4000 MHz and doesn't go beyond that limit. Also, it should be noted that in rendering applications with CUDA support, RTX 3070 can be up to three times faster compared to using only CPU. The mentioned temperatures refer to values picked up by CPU and GPU sensors. On the other hand, we measured 43 degrees on the outer surface of the laptop, about 30 degrees Celsius under the palm of your hand, and 49 degrees Celsius in the warmest part, with the computer drawing a maximum of between 180 to 200 watts of power. Now, as for the cooling system, in addition to the automatic fan control, you can manually control them by combining the function and cue keys and selecting one of three modes, quiet, balance, and performance, which is indicated by the appropriate color of LED power button light. The most powerful mode is marked with a red light when the centrifugal fans reach the maximum RPM and emit around 40 decibels of noise. During normal daily use in less demanding games, the laptop is almost inaudible and noise is barely noticeable in standard use. Lenovo has made the new Legion 5 Pro an incredibly desirable laptop in terms of superior gaming performance and consistently high performance in a variety of applications and use scenarios. When it comes to performance and display quality, this machine simply sweeps anything in its way. Most importantly, this laptop is brilliantly designed in those most important aspects done with a very high build quality, so it's really hard to find any real complaints. Until a year or two ago, gaming laptops with comparable or even poorer performance were noticeably heavier and incomparably bulkier. If you remember the Predator Helios 700 laptop from a while back, it was twice as thick and twice as heavy as this Legion 5 Pro. 
and due to its small form factor and all the power it is packing, the Legion 5 Pro's 16ACH6H model we have here goes for a starting price of almost 2,000 euros or roughly 2,300 US dollars, which definitely goes in its favor compared to the RS15G that uses the new Max-Q platform. At the very least, a laptop with more style, a better screen and significantly more convincing performance is more desirable, not to mention the details. Its only real flaw may be in its limited availability in the current market situation. Now, to sum up our thoughts, this is a modern, high-performance gaming laptop and probably the best of its kind we've tried so far, with features that earned our editor's choice award. Thank you for watching another Bench House review. Subscribe to our channel for more reviews and share us your thoughts on the Legion 5 Pro model in the comment section below. My name is Marco, and I will see you next time.